After this video, I want you to be able to describe the electron configurations for the atoms of any element using orbital notation, electron configuration notation, and when appropriate, noble gas notation. Representing electron configurations. Three methods or notations are used to indicate electron configurations. Two of these notations will be discussed in the next two sections for the first period elements, hydrogen and helium. The third notation applies mostly to elements of the third period and higher. It will be discussed in the section on third period elements. In a ground state hydrogen atom, the single electron is in the lowest energy orbital, the 1s orbital. The electron can be in either one, or sorry, in either one of its two spin states. Helium has two electrons, which are paired in the 1s orbital. In orbital notation, an unoccupied orbital is represented by a line with the orbital's name written underneath that line. An orbital containing one electron is represented by a line with a single arrow above that line. An orbital containing two electrons is represented with a line and two arrows above that line, one in each orientation showing the electrons paired and with opposite spins. The lines are labeled with the principal quantum number and sublevel letter. The orbital notation for helium is written as follows. Electron configuration notation eliminates the lines and arrows of orbital notation. Instead, the number of electrons in a sublevel is shown by adding a superscript to the sublevel designation. The hydrogen configuration is represented by 1s1. The superscript indicates that one electron is present in hydrogen's 1s orbital. The helium configuration is represented by 1s2. Here, the superscript indicates that there are two electrons in helium's 1s orbital. In the first period elements, hydrogen and helium, electrons occupy the first main energy level. The ground state electrons in table 4-3 on, uh, on page 110, which I'm also showing on the screen here, illustrate how the off-bow principle, the Pauli exclusion principle, and Hund's rule are applied to atoms of elements in the second period. Figure 4-19, also on page 110 of your textbook, shown here, shows the first four main energy levels in order of increasing energy for applying the off-bow principle. According to the off-bow principle, after the 1s orbital is filled, the next electron occupies the s sublevel in the second main energy level. Thus, lithium, represented by Li, as we see here, has a configuration of 1s2, 2s1. The electron occupying the 2s level of, the, of a lithium atom is the atom's highest or outmost occupied level. The highest occupied level is the electron containing main energy level with the highest principal quantum number. The two electrons in the 1s sublevel of lithium are no longer in the outermost energy level. They have become inner shell electrons, which are electrons that are not in the highest occupied energy level. The fourth electron in an atom of beryllium BE must complete the pair in the 2s sublevel because this sublevel is of lower energy than the 2p sublevel. With the 2s sublevel filled, the 2p sublevel, which has three vacant orbitals of equal energy, can be occupied. Hund's rule applies here as shown in the orbital notations on table 4-3, again on page 110 or shown on the screen right now. One of the three p orbitals is occupied by a single electron in an atom of boron, represented by b. Two of the three p orbitals are occupied by unpaired electrons in, the atom, in an atom of carbon, c. 
and all three p orbitals are occupied by unpaired electrons in an atom of nitrogen, N. According to the off-bow principle, the next electron must pair with another electron in one of the two p orbitals rather than enter the third main energy level. The Pauli exclusion principle allows the electron to pair with one of the electrons occupying the 2p orbitals as long as the spins of the paired electrons are opposite. Thus, atoms of oxygen, O, have the configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. Oxygen's orbital notation, again, is shown here on page, uh, on, in your textbook, page uh, 110, table 4-3. Two 2p two orbitals are filled in fluorine, F, and all three are filled in neon, Ne. Atoms such as those in neon, of neon, uh, which have the S and P sublevels of the highest occupied level filled with eight electrons, are said to have an octet of electrons. Examine the periodic table inside uh, the back cover of your textbook and notice that neon is the last element in the second period. By now I want you to be able to describe the electron configurations of the atom of atoms of any element using orbital notation and electron configuration notation and next video noble gas notation.